good evening to all of you. Most certainly, uh, prophet of the Lord, I so appreciate this invitation. Glory be to God. I don't take too many invitations. Uh, you know, I got to really be led by the Lord, directed by the Lord. And uh, so, of course, I've been really, really busy for the past two to three weeks. But nonetheless, it's all about kingdom business, kingdom assignment. Glory be to Jesus. And so when I went, my God Almighty. And, and so when you called me, I, I felt, I just felt a pull in my spirit to accept it. Uh, I, I was going to say no, man of God, because I was going to say, man, I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, but then, but then I felt that pull in my spirit. <laughs> I felt that pull in that's my the, spirit. That's the to Holy say Spirit. Yes. <laughs> to God be all the glory for the great things again, like we said that He has done. Listen, this is a powerful season. This is a powerful season that the church is in. And yes, I do have a word tonight. And uh, as the Lord leads me, I minister afterwards. Hello, hello, Stacy Williamson. Glory be to God, everybody that's 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 chiming in. Thank you so much for chiming in. But listen, there's a word from the Lord tonight. There's a word from the Lord tonight. You want to share this word. You want to share this with everybody that you know. You want to share this live. Glory be to God. Let everybody know. Probably, I don't know if you did it at the very beginning, Prophet, where you told them how to yeah. get onto your page. All right, glory be to yeah. God. But those who are signing in now, glory be to God, that follow my ministry, most certainly share this with everybody that you know. It's going to be a powerful program tonight. Oh, my goodness. I feel it already. Glory be to God. Prophet Taylor, there is a word from the Lord. Glory yes. be to Jesus. And I want you to know most certainly that this word is going to transform some lives tonight. Come on. Go ahead and share this yep. live. Everybody that's watching, everybody that's watching, go ahead and share this live. Share it with all of your contacts. Share it with everybody that you know God's going to speak. And most certainly, I do believe that this man of God, this prophet of the Lord, I do believe most certainly that God is even going to speak through you, man of God. And so listen, yes. I, I don't have a problem during the part or the period, the time when we begin to minister. Hey, if you want to jump in, go ahead and minister. Go ahead and jump on in. I you don't flow, mind this time team in tonight, but I feel the Holy Ghost already. I feel hey, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, lives are about to be transformed, lives are about to be changed. Oh, God, God, hallelujah. Fire. Lord of God, if I can first start with you before I go into this word, because I always believe in being gracious to my host. Glory be to God, there's always a word for the host before you release a word for the house. That's prophetic protocol. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. And so I want to my call, I feel an anointing. And so I want to yes. release a word over you, man of God, as I hear the Holy Ghost speaking right now. I want to release this word, glory be to God, that the Lord is saying to you that you are getting ready to step into your best season, says the Spirit of the Living God. The Lord said, Doors that have been closed in your face are about to be open for you, says the Spirit of the Living God. I hear God say, I'm getting ready to elevate you both in the secular level and in the spiritual level. I hear the Lord say, prepare man of God because my God almighty, and I, I don't know who's on the live from your church, glory be to God, but I got to say it. I hear the Lord say, prepare, glory be to God for upward mobility, glory be to God in your local assembly, says the spirit of the living God, my God almighty. I hear the Lord say that you are one of the unique voices, young voices that he's getting ready to raise up in this country, my God. I hear the Lord say there will be a phenomenal anointing that will be upon your life. There will be an anointing of fire. There will be an anointing of power. There will be God Almighty. And God says you're going through much and you struggle with much, but God said I will use you much as the spirit of the living God. God says I'm getting ready to break boundaries. I'm getting ready to I'm getting ready to break boundaries on your behalf. Lisa, oh, glory be to you, God. I'm getting ready to shoot you and get Lisa. on you, not just Lisa. to a level, Lisa. but a dimension, says the Holy Ghost. God Lisa. says to you, right Lisa. Lisa. that people should not take you lighter, but there is an anointing that will be transformational. Oh, glory be to God. I hear the Lord Thank say, you. I'm getting ready, glory be to God. 
Shout now, for God is getting. 
getting ready to do a new thing. Oh my God Almighty. I said, shout now. Oh, glory be to God. Shout now. For God is getting ready to do a new thing. Oh, glory be to God. Now, now when we think about shout, man of God, we're not talking about something that is quiet. We're not talking about something that is light. We're not talking about something that can't be heard or cannot be heard. When we speak about shout, we're talking about something, a sound, my God, that gets people's attention. Oh, Jesus, our God Almighty, when you shout, you got to get people's attention. Oh, glory be to God. And then so during this time and during this season, the Lord is telling to the church, saying to the church, he said, I want you to begin to shout now. And even as you head, glory be to God, towards the end of this year, I hear the yeah. Holy Ghost say to begin to intensify your shout. Oh, glory yeah. be to God, because he's getting ready to bring you out. Oh, God Almighty, he's getting ready to bring us out. Oh, glory be to God, the church is about to come out strong and powerful. Oh, glory be to the mighty God. I said, shout now, but God is getting ready to do a new thing. Now, when you think about the word new, hallelujah, obviously you're talking about something that has not happened before. The word new connotates and denotes. Glory be to God, something, hallelujah, that is not familiar. In other words, you're not experienced it before. Oh, glory be to God, is something that's not the ordinary. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And so God is saying, hallelujah, to the body of Christ, he's saying, I'm getting ready to do a new thing. In other words, he's getting ready, hallelujah, to reveal and to give to us and to bring about to us something that we have never seen before, something that we have never, my God, experienced before. Oh, glory be to God. And for some of us, God's getting ready to bring about something. Oh, glory be to God that we have not even imagined. Oh, God Almighty, the Lord keep putting Ephesians in my spirit. Glory be to God. And it says that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask, think, or even imagine. Oh, glory be to God. God is taking us into that season, the season of the unimaginable. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. I said, shout now, for your victory is, oh God, your victory is ahead. Oh, glory be to God. Somebody better release a crazy shout. Somebody better release a crazy praise. Somebody better, oh God Almighty, somebody better release a coming up praise. Even right now, glory be to Jesus. Ah, oh, listen now, man of God, when God is getting ready to do something that's new, oh, glory be to God. Not only does he create a new environment, oh glory be to God, but he creates a new sound, oh glory be to God, he gives a new anointing, oh glory yeah. be to God, he gives a new fire, oh glory be to Jesus, and at times yeah. he even uses new faces, oh mighty God, and so you get to understand now that God is getting ready to pour the new wine, oh Jesus yeah. and the Holy Ghost, I said God is getting ready to pour the new wine and so he's saying oh my god he's telling us as the body of christ to get our wine skins ready because he cannot pour new wine into all wine skins oh what is this holy ghost and so god is raising up the new wine skins oh glory be to god and yeah. will be able to carry and to hold the new wine because it is this new wine oh god almighty that will cause new exploits. Exploits. It is the new wine that will cause a new thing. It's the new wine that will bring about new power. It's the new wine that will bring about new fire. It's the new wine that will cause the church to take on a new face. I said, start to shout now, for your victory is ahead. Start to prepare yourself as the new wine skin for the new wine that's getting ready to be part. 
getting ready to be born in the church. My God, I said God's getting ready to shake the church so that he can prepare the church for the new wine that he's getting ready to pour in the church. Somebody better give God a praise right here. Oh, glory be to God. Let me slow this down. Let me slow this down. Oh, glory be to Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Take your time. And that's what the, the Lord said. The Lord said to me, oh, glory be to God. He gave me Isaiah chapter 43. Oh, glory be to God, verses 18 and 19. And then just to give you, oh, glory be to God, just to give you a little idea. Power phrase in the bit. Our God is saying, he said, forget the former things. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. He said, forget the former things. Glory be to God. For behold, I'm getting ready to do a new thing. Now you got to understand, my brother. Glory be to God. That when God does a new thing, oh glory be to God, or when God produces a new thing in the earth, he always produces new revelations. Oh glory be to God, new sounds. Oh glory be to God, hallelujah. And just like I said, sometimes new people, but you got to understand, honey, oh God, that those persons that God's about or is about to bring forth with a new sound and do the new thing in. These are persons that have gone through the fire. These are persons who have been pruned. These are persons who have been processed. These are persons who have made themselves available to God. These are persons who say, God, use me at whatever cost. These are persons that says, Lord, let your kingdom come Jesus. and let your will be done in my life on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, glory be to God. Now, now, hear this, hear this. You got to forget the old. Oh, glory be to God. Can I tell you, hallelujah, prophet, that in forgetting the old, sometimes you got to forget some people. Oh, glory be to the mighty God. In moving forward to the new, there's sometimes you got to leave some people in your past. Oh, glory be to Jesus. You got to understand that not everybody is going into this new thing. That no. God has for you, oh Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Mm -mm. You got to understand, my brother, that when God's mm -mm. about to do a new thing, hallelujah, mm -mm. he's going to reduce your circle. Your circle yes. will become small, but your influence will become great. Oh, somebody give God a praise. I said when God is getting ready to introduce the new thing in your life, he will cause your circle to become small, but your anointing and your influence will become great. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. The problem with us, hallelujah, is that we expect everybody to embrace the new thing that God's doing in our lives. But you got to understand, honey, that when God does a new thing in you, most of the time, hallelujah, there are very few that sees what he's doing. Oh, glory be to God. But as you stay faithful, as you continue moving in the new thing that God has given to you. There are others that will see and know, hallelujah, that God has anointed you for this mm. new thing that he's called you to do. Oh, somebody better shout now, but God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. I said it's going to be an end to the old, almighty God, and an introduction to the new. Hallelujah. Yes. And so there's some people that God's getting ready to bless. Oh, glory be to God. No longer will you be living from paycheck to paycheck. No longer will you be living from hand to mouth. Oh, glory be to God. God said, I'm doing a new thing. I'm going to cause you to prosper. Oh, glory be to Jesus. I'm going to cause you to succeed. I'm going to promote you. I'm going to use you. I'm going to cause you to be the head and not the tail. I'm going to cause you to be above and not beneath. I'm going to cause you to be the lender and not the borrower. Because I'm doing a new thing. Oh, somebody better shout right now. Somebody hallelujah. Somebody better give God a praise up in here. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Thank you, oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, glory be to God Almighty. Jesus. Oh, God, look at this today. Thank you, oh, God. Look Jesus. at this today. Hallelujah, Jesus. And let me say something to you, my brother. You don't need nobody's approval. Oh, glory be 
you, God, to walk in the newness of God. Hallelujah. And God don't need nobody's approval to use you. God don't need nobody's approval to bless you. He is called all by himself. And beside him, there is no other. And he, my God Almighty, he doesn't have a board meeting to decide to bless you. He said, I'll do it. Oh, glory be to God, because I am God. Oh, Jesus. And so there are three things I want to I want to share with you. You got to forgive me. You got to forgive me. I'm, I'm a hollering preacher. Glory woman, be to God. Woman, you just be used. You just be used. You just be used. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. You, you got to understand. Hallelujah. Mama Katoya. That there are three things. Hallelujah. And I call them the three A's. Hallelujah. Of spiritual success. Glory be to God. I'm a number person. Glory be to God. I'm a word and number person. I like numbers. I like words. I like eschatology. I like the study of words. Oh, glory. I like numerology. I like to study numbers. And so whenever the Lord deals with me, he'll give in the alphabet, the letters of the alphabet. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then you'll work with me in that light or along that line. And so the Lord said, I want you to talk to them about the three A's of spiritual growth. Oh, glory be to God. Spiritual assignment, spiritual advancement. Oh, glory be to God. And the three A's, my God Almighty. The first thing is that God will change your associations. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm the Holy yes. Ghost. I'm talking about the new thing. Oh, glory be to God. And you got to understand. That's why I say all the time. Hallelujah. If you ain't prepared to run by yourself, if you got to always run in a pack, then you ain't the one that God's going to use. You got to get mm -hmm. to the point, my God, where you could be Elijah. Oh, glory be to God, locked away in the cage, but still packed up with power. Oh, glory be to Jesus. You got to be the David that says, listen, my brothers are afraid of Goliath, but I ain't scared of no giant. I'm going to step out. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to speak out. Oh, glory be to God. You got to understand. Glory be to Jesus. That when God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life, Jesus. he will touch your associations. Oh, glory be to God. Which means there's some people that he's going to move from you, and there's going to be yeah. some people that he will add to you. Oh, you better hear the Holy Ghost. I said My when Lord. God is getting ready to do a new thing, there's some people that he will remove out of your life. And there's some Jesus. people that he will add to your life. Oh, come on, somebody here. You got to understand. Glory be to God. That God's multiplication. Glory be to God is really subtraction. Yes. Lord Jesus. Jesus, I said the multiplication of the kingdom of God is really subtraction. Oh, glory yes. be to God. Come on here now. You got to understand that when God is getting ready to use somebody mightily, he will always pull them into isolation. Oh, glory be to God. And then he will empower them. Oh, glory be to God. So that when they come out, they'll come out with great influence. They'll come out with great anointing. Oh, Jesus yeah. and the Holy Ghost. Jesus. And I so, and so therefore, Jesus. you got to understand, my brothers and sisters, glory be to God when God is about to do a new thing. I said, shout for God is getting ready to do a new thing. And so when God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life, oh, glory be Jesus. to Jesus, he will touch your associations. Oh, glory be to God. And so people that are around you, that don't understand you, oh God, he will remove them. People that are around you, that don't value you, God will remove them. People yeah. that are around you, that can't see the anointing of God through you and on you, God will remove them. All the Judases that are around your life, God will remove them. Oh, glory be to God. You got to give God some praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus. Because when God is getting ready to use you and do a new thing in your life. He doesn't Jesus. want any dilution because the no. new thing must be undiluted.
hallelujah. It must be yeah. unadulterated. Oh, glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. And so God will subtract every association that's round about you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, listen here. Those who are not able to appreciate, God will subtract them. Oh, God, out of your life. And so you got to right. understand that, baby, before God does the new thing, you will go through a time of loneliness and isolation. Oh, somebody better shout now. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Because you may Thank be you, experiencing Lord. that, but you better give God a shout. Why? Because the isolation is preparing you for great participation. Oh, somebody give God a praise up in here. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Oh, come on here now. The Lord said it to me. He said, remember the story of Elizabeth. Glory be to God and Mary. Almighty God, you got to understand. Hallelujah. That Mary, glory be to God, needed to change her environment. Hallelujah for the new thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Because if she had stayed where she was, hallelujah, there would have been much rejection. Oh, glory be to God. There would have been much rebuke. Oh, glory Jesus. be to God. There would have been much trials. Glory be to God. There would have been much misunderstanding. But the Lord, glory be to God, pulled her out of a familiar situation and sent her down to her cousin Elizabeth. Oh, glory be to God. Because the new thing that was in her needed to be understood. And you got to understand, my brother, that when you are getting ready, hallelujah, to embark on a new thing, God will send you, glory be to God, into an empowerment that will appreciate what's getting ready to happen, that will understand and that God is getting ready to use you. Oh, glory be to God, and will facilitate the process. Somebody better give God a praise up in here. And so therefore, God thank you, will God. Thank you, God. your associations when he's getting Jesus. ready to do a new thing in your life. In other words, yes. Only those that he has ordained to be around you, glory be to God, will remain. Everything and everybody else will be subtracted. Jesus. My God Almighty. My God. My God Almighty. My God Jesus. Almighty. My God Almighty. Hallelujah. And then you got to understand uh, the second A, glory be to God, uh, the reason, uh, glory be to God for the isolation, the reason why uh, he changes your associations uh, through isolation, uh, glory be to God, the second A uh, is that he's getting ready uh, to anoint you, uh, glory be to God with something new, uh, and where he's taking you, uh, glory be to God, uh, there must be some Somebody, uh, that's already in that situation uh, that can relate to you. Uh, oh, glory be to God uh, and can be a spiritual midwife. Uh, oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Uh, my God Almighty. Uh, because Jesus. you've got to understand how uh, you get ready to birth something. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, but you got to birth it uh, in the presence uh, of somebody uh, who knows how to deliver. Uh, oh, glory be to Jesus. Uh, you got to understand that midwife uh, has been trained. Oh, glory be to God. She knows how to help you deliver. Oh, glory be to God. And so therefore, Elizabeth became the midwife for Mary. Oh, somebody better give it praise. Oh, glory be to God. So God will always send you in an environment that has yeah. a similar anointing. Remember, Elizabeth was pregnant along with Mary. She was six months ahead. Oh, glory be to God. So she was able to walk Mary through her everything that she would go through her. She was able to explain to Mary her what Mary was experiencing. Her. She was able to show her how to deal with what she was going through her. You got to understand, baby, her, that God, my God Almighty, will cause you, her, hallelujah, her, to go into an area, an environment, her, an atmosphere her, where there is a midwife her, that has experienced her, what you are experiencing. Her, hallelujah. Her, that's anointed her, with the same anointing uh, so that you can birth up. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, and so secondly, uh, God says, I will take you in an environment uh, that has a similar anointing. Jesus. My God Thank Almighty. You, Lord. My God Almighty. And so therefore, when Elizabeth reached or Mary arrived at Elizabeth's house, Elizabeth was a cousin. Glory be to God. And when Mary arrived at 
the Elizabeth house and they started to greet one another. Oh, glory be to God. The Bible says that the babies jumped in one another or jumped in the bellies of their mother. Oh, glory be to God. Why? Because you have entered on Mary, had entered an environment of likeness. Yeah. She had in oh, Jesus, what's this? She had entered an environment of similarity. She had entered an environment of glory be to God. Hallelujah. Well, they understood one another. Glory be to Jesus. And so in this new day and in this new thing, God's going to bring his people together that are anointed for this new day. He's going to bring us together. Glory be to God with one sound. Oh, glory be to God. And when we get together, oh, glory be to God, the spirit of the Lord will leap in our spiritual homes. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Why? Because there's a similar anointing. There's a similar sound. Oh, glory be to God. There's a similar pain that God is birthing on the inside of us. Listen, this new anointing, this new thing is coming with much power. Glory be to Jesus. I said this new move of the church is coming with much power. It's coming, Mama Kota Yama Koshandele Devosai. It's coming with much influence. It's coming with great grace. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. And more than anything else, you got to understand that God will be the one that's leading it. Hallelujah. It will not be a man's platform. Our God, it will not be a platform of flesh. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. It will not be a oh, Jesus. It will not yes. be a platform of carnality. Oh, yes. It will not be a platform of God's agenda or man's agenda, but it will be a platform of God's agenda. Oh, glory be to God. One mighty army moving with the same sound, with one purpose, and that is to advance the kingdom of God on the earth. Somebody better shout now, for God's getting ready to do a new thing in your life. Then secondly, thirdly, he said, after I will have dealt with your association through separation and isolation, I will send you, glory be to God, where there is a similarity of the anointing. In other words, I'm not talking about leaving your church. I'm talking about gathering you, grouping you, hallelujah, together with others that have a similar mindset in, through, in, in whom God is doing this new thing. Oh, glory be to God. And then he said, hallelujah, I will cause you, thirdly, I will cause you after I have sent you where you can be anointed. Oh, glory be to God, where there's a similarity in the anointing. Oh, glory be to God, and you can most certainly be an encouragement to one another. Glory be to God. He said, when that season is finished, then I will send you into the season of ascension to your assignment. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. When Mary left Thank Elizabeth, you, she was well prepared to deliver Jesus. She was yes. well prepared to walk into her assignment. She was well prepared. Glory be to God. Because she had already received an anointing from Elizabeth. She had already, my God, received instructions. Oh, glory be to God. She had already, already received empowerment. She had already received encouragement. And so therefore, when she left Elizabeth, she was well able to walk into her assignment. Oh, Jesus. glory be to Jesus. You got to understand. Hallelujah. That when you are walking in your assignment, most certainly you are filling, fulfilling purpose. Glory be to God. I said when you are walking in your assignment, then you are most certainly fulfilling purpose. Oh, glory be to God. And so therefore, just to give you a hallelujah overview again. Thank you, Lord. The three A's. Hallelujah. Of spiritual assignment, spiritual growth. Is that God, glory be to God, will bring about right associations. Oh, glory be to God. And then God, hallelujah, will take you. Glory be to God, where there will be, hallelujah, a similar anointing. Oh, glory be to God, he will connect you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, with others that have a similarity of purpose. In other words, those who are called to this new sound. Oh, glory be to God. And then he will cause you, hallelujah, after you've been empowered through information and revelation, he will cause you to ascend. Glory be to God into your assignment. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. And so you got to understand, my brothers, 
my sisters. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That people may not understand you now. The reason they don't understand you is because God is doing a new thing. People may not accept you now. The reason why they can't accept you is because God is doing a new thing. Oh, glory be to God. People may not like you now. The reason they don't like you is because God is doing a new thing. Oh, glory be to God. People may count you out. The reason why they're counting you out is that God is doing a new thing. And God is doing a new thing so that he would receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. It won't be a man's doing, but it would be God doing it. It wouldn't be you doing it, but it would be God doing it. There's a new way that's coming up. There's a new move that's coming up. There's a new sound that's coming up. So you better go ahead and shout now because after it's all over, God will give you the victory. Oh, glory be to God. I said after it's all over, God will give us the victory. Somebody better give it praise right now. But I see God Thank you, Jesus. giving the church his bride, his body. I see him giving us victory in every area of our lives. Oh, glory be to God. After he would have most certainly refined us. Oh, glory be to God. And refresh us. Oh, glory be to God. And rekindle us. Oh, glory be to God. Then he will cause us to move in a great manifestation of blessings that we've never seen before. Blessings to prosper. Oh, glory be to God. He will give an anointing. Oh, glory be to God. He'll release an anointing upon our lives like we've never seen before because the new thing is really a new anointing. Oh, somebody give me praise right now. Hallelujah. A new anointing to lay hands on the sick and to see them recover. Oh, glory be to God. I don't mean just to prophesy because too many people are prophesying and ain't got no power. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Cause my 
church uh, to act like me. Uh, he said in this new move, uh, I'm going to cause my church uh, to talk like me. Uh, in this new move, uh, I'm going to cause my church uh, to walk like me. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, and so if you look like Christ, uh, if you act like Christ, uh, if you walk like Christ, uh, if you talk like Christ, uh, glory be to God, uh, then there should be nothing lacking uh, and nothing broken uh, and nothing missing uh, in your life. Uh, God said, I'm getting ready uh, in this new move uh, to cause my body uh, to look like me in the earth. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, God Thank you, said, Lord. I allowed this pandemic to prepare my church for the new move. Thank you. I said, God said, I allowed this pandemic to prepare my church for the new move. Glory be to God. Why? Because in the midst of this pandemic, you began to really realize who was your source. Oh, glory be to God. In the midst of this pandemic, the remnant began to see, oh, glory be to God, like I've said so many times, that our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Oh, glory be to God. And this same God, that same word said, he will not suffer your foot to be moved. Oh, glory be to God. The Lord God that keepeth Israel is the same God that keeps you. He will not slumber nor sleep. Oh, glory be to God. It says the Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us by day. No, the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth, even now and forevermore. Oh, glory be to Jesus. God. This new move will come with divine Jesus. protection. This new Jesus. move will come with divine power. This new move will come with divine purpose. This new move will come with divine strategies. This new move, oh glory be to God Almighty, will come with a level of prosperity that we've never seen before. Oh, somebody better give God a shout. You better give God a praise. Somebody better tell God, say, my broke days are over. Oh, glory be to God. Somebody better lift up a victory shout and declare and decree that I'm not just coming out when I'm going over. Oh, somebody give it praise right now. I'm not just coming out, but I'm going over. Oh, glory be to God. No longer will I be beneath, but I will be above. Oh, glory be to God. No longer will I be the, the lender or the borrower, sorry, but I will be the lender. No longer shall I be the tailor, but I will be the head. Why? Because this new move, oh, glory be to God, is a move of new alignment. This is a new move of realignment. Oh, glory be to God, uh, the body of Christ uh, is getting back uh, to the original intent. Uh, oh, glory be to God, uh, where God said to us uh, from Genesis, uh, he said, be fruitful uh, and multiply uh, and replenish uh, and take dominion uh, and rule. Uh, oh, glory be to God. Uh, somebody better give God a praise right now. Hallelujah. Jesus you, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody better shout right Thank now. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come Jesus. on, come on. Come on, Hallelujah. put it on the line. Put it on the Hallelujah. line. Put it on your finger. Hallelujah. Type it in. Say Jesus. shout now. Jesus. Say shout now. For God has shout given now. us the victory. Type it in. Type it in. Say shout, shout now. now. Shout, shout now. now. For shout God now. has given us the victory. Oh, glory to the Sunday and the Messiah. Somebody lift your hands Jesus. up and say shout now. Shout oh, now. God, come on. Type shout it in. Now. Type it in. Say shout, shout now. now. Everybody's watching. Type it in. Say shout now. For God now. has given us the victory. Oh, glory be to Shout God. Now. Hallelujah. I'm not seeing it. I'm looking Shout until now. I see it. I said, somebody Shout type now. it in and say, Shout, Shout now. now. For God has given us the victory. Oh, glory be to God. Somebody better give Jesus. me praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God Almighty. He's given us the victory. 
And I don't know about you, prophet, but there's about to be a lifting. Hallelujah. I feel a lifting in the realm yes. of the spirit. I yes. feel my God Almighty a lightening in the realm of the yes. spirit for the yes. body of Christ, for the realm Jesus. of my God. You got to understand that for the remnant of God, things are about to get better. Oh, glory be to God. I don't care how it looks now. I said it's about to look better. Oh, glory yes. be to God. God's getting ready to give you victory over every circumstance, yes. over every situation. There's some of you that are going through in your body, but I hear God say, I'm getting ready to give you victory over that sickness. Yes. Why? Because Jesus Christ was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement that brought in our peace, or the chastisement of our peace, was upon him. And by his stripes, we are all somebody better give God praise right now. Jesus. Somebody better give God praise for victory in your body. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody better say my broke days are over. Oh, glory over. be to God. Somebody better give him praise for victory in your finances. Oh, glory be to God. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Nor have you seen begging bread. I don't know about you, but I don't care who stand on the food line. God is my strength. God is my provider. God is my keeper. God is my yes. source. God, oh Jesus, what's this? Jesus. God is my deliverer. Oh, glory be to God. I don't care who lose their job. My job is secured. Oh, glory be to God. And even if I lose my job, it's because God is saying, I'm no longer an employee, but I am an employer. Oh, somebody better give him praise. You better get oh Jesus, what's this? Jesus. My Lord. Jesus. I My said Lord. the Lord is getting ready to bring the church yes. to a level of victory that we've never experienced before. But we got to give him a praise in faith. We got to shout in faith. Yes. We got to shout in faith. In yes. other words, when we shout, glory be to God, we say to the mm. devil, I don't care what you try. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Whatever you try it is defeated. Your Jesus. self is telling the devil, glory be to God, come hell or high water, hallelujah, Jesus, I ain't giving up on God, because he's getting ready to do a new thing in my life, thing. oh, glory be to God, your shout is to make the devil aware that you are still alive, oh, glory be to God, because Satan counted some of us out, Satan thought that by this time that some of us would have been dead. And probably some of us should have been dead. Oh, glory be to God. But all for the grace of God. All Lord. for the purpose of God. All for the power of God. All for the mercy of God. We are still alive. Somebody better give God glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. COVID-19 took out plenty of people. But you are still alive in the land right. of the living. The you better living. give God a shout right now. Hallelujah. You better give God a praise right now. You better give God a victory. Three praise up. Hallelujah. Oh my God Almighty. Somebody better shout up like you losing your mind. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. They might have taken somebody else's home, but you still in your house. Oh, glory be to God. Why? Because God is your Jehovah Jireh. Oh, somebody better give God some praise right now. Thank I said, God is your Jehovah Jireh. You better shout Jireh. now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. my God. My God. Shout. Hallelujah. Because God's Jesus. getting ready to do a new thing in Jesus. your life. Glory be to Jesus. And a Jesus. shout literally means that you've won the victory. Nobody shouts unless they are victorious. Glory be to God. So shouting also denotes victory. Glory be to God. So you're not just shouting to say, I'm still alive. Or to say, listen, I'm getting your attention. But you're shouting to say that I have the victory. 
Glory be to God. Oh my God, I felt that one. Jesus. I said you're shouting to say that I have the victory. Oh, glory be to God. I said you're shouting to say that there's victory in my home. Oh, glory be to God. And can I tell you that just the other day, glory be to God, I experienced something with my son, glory be to God, where the enemy tried to take his life. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Where he was attacked and robbed and run over by a car hallelujah to take his life but can i tell you that the lord had me the day before hallelujah just covering my children the lord had me just shouting and giving him a praise not realizing what was happening not realizing the plans that the enemy was formulating not realizing the weapon that was being formed oh glory be to god but because i was shouting and praying Praising God the day before I was praying and covering my children. Oh, glory be to God. And so that shout that I released in the heavenlies. Oh, glory be to God. It broke. Hallelujah. The attack of the enemy. My God Almighty. It destroyed the assignment of the enemy. My God Almighty. It destroyed the weapon that was formed. Because the weapon that was formed was that he should have been killed. Oh, glory be to God. But because I shout, God said he's your seed, and the seed yes. of the righteous shall be preserved. And so therefore, my shout brought the victory. And because of that, my son is alive. Somebody that open Jesus. up your mouth and give God a shout, because your shout Hallelujah. could be preserving your children. Your shout could be preserving your job. Your shout could be preserving your home. Your shout could be preserving your neighborhood. Your shout could be preserving your family. You better give God a shout because you don't know why you shout now. But you better give him a shout because he said I'm getting ready to do a new thing. Jesus. My God. My God Almighty. Jesus. My shout. Jesus. I do believe. Preserve the life of my Jesus. son. Glory Jesus. be to God. So Jesus. you got to put a value to your shout. Glory yes. be to God. Yes. You got to put a value to your shout. You got to put knowledge to your shout. Jesus. You got to know why you shout, my beloved. Glory be to God. And you, my God Almighty, got to have a Jesus. shout. Hallelujah. Mm. That's backed by faith. Jesus. Glory be to God. Jesus. Because whatever you are shouting oh, about, Jesus. glory be to God, you are expecting to see. Glory. I must say it again. Whatever you are shouting about, you are expecting to see. Oh, glory be to God. So somebody needs to just release a faith shout. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your bills are due. Oh, glory be to God. And you don't know where the money is coming from, but you better Go ahead and give God a faith shout right now. Oh, glory be to God. You better shout in faith. Oh, glory be to God. You don't wait till the battle is over. You better shout right now. Oh, glory be to God. You might be in the greatest battle with the devil. Oh, glory be to God. But you need to throw your hands up and confuse the enemy. Because in the midst of the fight, you got to release a shout. Oh, glory be to God. You better release a shout. Because it is that shout that will confuse the enemy. Oh, glory be to God, I said, it is your shout that will confuse the enemy. Jesus, hallelujah. So release Jesus. a shout for God. Jesus. Is getting ready to do a new thing in your Jesus. life. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And Dear Kelly. And Dear Kelly. Hallelujah. The Father says to tell you that eyes have not seen, nor ears heard what he's getting ready to do in your life. There is a shifting and a shaking, glory be to God, that's coming. But the Lord says, I will shift you into purpose. I will shake out the old, and I will bring in the new, glory be to God. Yes. And even now, says the Spirit of the living God, I'm getting ready to put my hands upon you. I'm getting ready to bring you forth. Glory be to God. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know these people. Glory be to Jesus. I'm just mm -hmm. speaking as I see their names, as the Lord prompts me. Yes. Glory be to yes. God. 
So in Dear Kelly, the Lord says, prepare yourself. There's about to be a new move. There's about to be a major breakthrough for you, Indira. There's a major breakthrough that you need from God. And God says, I'm getting ready to bring it through on your behalf, says the Spirit of the living God. I hear God say, even as you prepare yourself, glory be to God for this new day and this new move. He said, what I'm going to do for you is going to shock your very family. Glory be to God, because even they do not expect, hallelujah, what I will do. They don't expect much for you. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, this is Indira Kelly. Glory be to God. I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, lift up a shout. Glory be to God, because as you lift up a shout, hallelujah, he's getting ready to bring you out. Oh, Lord, yeah. I'm not trying to say a cliche. I don't believe in that. But I hear the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Indira Kelly, as you lift up a shout to God. He's getting ready to bring you out, says the Spirit of the Living God. Glory be to God, Tanya Bryce. Glory be to God, Tanya Bryce. The Lord says, expect promotion. Glory be to God, I'm getting ready to promote you, says the Lord. Glory be to Jesus, expect promotion, says the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, because they have counted you out. Hallelujah, Jesus, but because they have counted you out. I'm about to show them that I am with you, says the Spirit of the living God. Oh, somebody give God a praise right now. Somebody yes. give God a praise. Oh, glory yes. be to God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Sean Thank knows. You. Sean knows. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, expect breakthrough in every level of your life. Matter of fact, it is needed, says the Lord. I hear the Lord. Sean knows. I hear the Lord. Glory be to God saying to you, expect breakthrough. Glory be to God, man of God, there's a challenging situation. Hallelujah. That's ahead of you presently. Glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to break the boundaries and I'm getting ready to break the plans of the enemy for the enemy has come up against you. Glory be to God. Mm. Hallelujah. And I hear I'm talking to Sean Knowles. Glory be to God. But God says, I'm getting ready to give you breakthrough in every area of your life, says the Spirit of the living God. I hear the Lord say, as you remain dedicated and faithful to me. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to hallelujah, to pour out upon you a new anointing, says the Spirit of the living God. Glory be to God. I hear to you, Sean Knowles, the Lord says, watch yes. what I will do for you within the next 21 days. You will have yes. a testimony. Glory be to God and that which they have yes, shut out. Jesus. That which they're trying to keep away from you, says the Spirit Thank of the living you, God. You shall receive Becoming it, says right the Mighty God unto you, Sean No. Somebody better give God a praise right now. Thank Somebody, you, Somebody better give God a praise you, right now. So Sita Mandu Kundelebo Sunday. Glory Jesus. be to God, Judy Monroe. God's touching you right Jesus. now. Glory be to God. God's touching you in your body. Glory be to God. He's touching you in your head. Hallelujah. Touching you in the chest area. Judy Monroe. Glory Glory be to God. God's touching you right now. Oh, glory be to Jesus. And I hear the Lord say that which you lack, he is about to supply. Hallelujah. On levels that you've never experienced him before. I hear the Lord say, expect a promotion on your job. Judy Monroe, expect a promotion, says the Spirit of the living God, for it shall come to you. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Pam Collins. Now, I know Pam Collins but I'm releasing a word from the Lord. The Lord said, Pam Collins to you, there is an anointing on your life for healing, says the Spirit of the living God. The Lord said the reason why you experience all of the things that you went through in your physical body, glory be to God, it was for the healing anointing and the healing grace that I'm getting ready to put upon your life. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. The Lord says to you, Pam Collins, Oh, glory be to God that you will be used. Hallelujah. And women that are afflicted with cancer. Oh, glory be to God. The Lord says, I will give you the anointing and the grace to lay your hands on them and they shall recover, says the Spirit of the living God. For God says, I did not allow 
allow you to go through you went, what you went through in vain. Oh, glory be to God. It was in preparation. He said the isolation was for the ascension. For I'm getting ready to cause you to ascend into your assignment. I'm talking to Pam Collins. Oh, glory be to God. And the Lord says, begin to lay hands on people in faith. Begin to release the word. Hallelujah. In faith. Oh, glory be to yeah. God. And as you release the word, you shall see it come to pass, says the Spirit of the living God. Yes. Jesus. Sharon Gibson, the Lord says, expect household salvation and deliverance. Sharon Gibson. Sharon Gibson, the Lord said, expect household salvation and deliverance. Glory be to God. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to save your entire household. Sharon Gibson. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to save your entire household household says the lord glory be to god the lord says you are prayed and you are fasted glory be to god and the lord said i heard your supplication oh glory the lord said i've seen in particular your fasting oh glory be to god hallelujah and the lord says i am about to reward your fasting lord woman of god hallelujah i see you in much prayer and fasting glory be to God. And God says to tell her, to tell Sharon Gibson that I'm getting ready to reward her fasting. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. And I will reward it with household salvation, says the Spirit of the living God. Oh, oh glory be to God. Ori Cooper. Ori Cooper. I'm, as I see the names, I'm hearing what the Lord is saying. Ori Cooper. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say, victory is ahead for you and your family. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. I said, Ori Cooper, the Lord says, victory is ahead for you. If I be the Holy Ghost, God, you'll find out. Oh, glory be to God. I said, the Lord said, and I know that I am a woman of God. Hallelujah. I seek not my own. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm born with a price. And even as I speak to you, I see God clearing. Uh, I see like you're walking through a woods, uh, walking through a lot of trees, like a wilderness. But I see God just clearing them on the side. I see him just Jesus. pushing the trees. Oh, Jesus, what's this? I say prepare or recuper. God's getting ready to come through for you and your family. I don't know exactly Jesus. what's happening there, but the Lord says to tell her, Glory be to God. Expect the breakthrough. Expect victory. Glory be to God. I'm seeing next year. Glory be to God. I'm seeing 2021. Oh, glory be to God. God said, I will bring full deliverance and victory and breakthrough. Expect it, Ari Cooper. Oh, somebody give God a praise. Come on, come on. Jesus. Yeah, my God. Sonora, I just saw her name, Sonora. I didn't see the last name, but I just saw the first name, Sonora. Sonora, God says, I'm getting ready to take you to another level. Jesus. I hear the Lord say, you've gone through much. Glory be to God. There's been, hallelujah. There you go. I see the name again, Sonora Smith. Glory be to God. The Lord says, everything that you have gone through, it is for your good. I see you going through a whole lot, woman of God. I don't know you, but I see you going through a whole lot. And the Lord said, everything that you went through, it was for your good. The reason why he allowed you to go through it, Sonora Smith. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to cause you to be a midwife to others. Glory be to God. I'm getting ready to cause you to be a midwife, Sonora Smith. Glory be to God. The Lord said you have gone through much pain, hurt, and suffering. Glory be to Jesus. And I hear the Lord say, hallelujah, it was for your ascension to your assignment. Oh, glory yeah. be to God. You got to understand.
understand that in this new thing, hallelujah, prophet of the Lord, you got to understand that in this new thing, God is going to cause his people to ascend to their assignment. Yes. Oh, glory yes. be to God. No longer will be running around in circles. Oh, glory be to Jesus. No longer, hallelujah, will we be sitting on the sidelines. No longer will we be inactive. Glory be to God yes. in organizations and establishments and the church is one of them. Glory be to God. No longer, my God, will we be wasting time. Oh, glory yes. be to God. But in this new thing, in this new move, in this new day, in this new way, God's going to cause his remnant to ascend to their assignment. Oh, glory be to God, where they will walk in purpose and nothing shall by any means harm them. Oh, glory be to the mighty God. And so, yes. Sonora Smith, I hear the Lord saying to you, prepare to ascend to your assignment for you are called, you are called hallelujah as a mother in Zion. I don't know you, but you are called as a mother in Zion. Oh, glory be to God and you will be a midwife to many says the spirit of the living God. I hear God say, give him the praise now. Oh, Jesus, for your crying days are over. Oh, glory be to God. There is a new day that's about to ascend upon you, says the spirit of the living God to say, Nora Smith. Oh, glory be to God. There is a new day that's getting ready to ascend upon your life. I hear the Lord say, receive the new anointing. Receive the new anointing. Receive the new anointing now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Jesus. Mando Koribaha. Glory be to the mighty God. Jesus. Linda knows. Linda knows. Linda knows. Linda knows. By the end of this year, I literally hear a statement coming out of your mouth. And this is the statement. It's going to sound strange. But the statement is going to be, won't he do it? Do it. Won't mm. he do it? Glory be to God. Because of what God's getting ready to do in your life, Mark this word by the end of this year, December 31st, you will be saying, won't he do it? Glory be to, oh, Jesus, what is this? You Jesus. will be saying, won't he do it? And you will have the testimony to show how he has done it in your life. Jesus. Says the spirit of the living God. You can jump on in, prophet. You can jump on in you want to. Glory be to Jesus. I want you to flow. The only thing I, was saying, I saw Lexi. I saw Lexi. I saw Lexi. Woman of God, because Go of your prayer. Yes. Because of your prayer, woman of God. Because yes. Because of your prayer. This is Lexi right here. Yeah. The Lord said concerning you, woman of God, stand still and know that he is God. And he saw concerning the situation right now that you yes. are praying for the relief for. The Lord says that as of next week, he said Monday, you're going to receive a call on Monday for yeah. a supernatural financial blessing. So I the believe Lord it. God Jehovah for Lexi. Lexi, oh. go ahead, prophet. You, master prophet, you go right ahead. Master prophet, you're talking about ahead. my grandbaby? You talking about my grandbaby, Lexi? <laughs> That's your grandbaby? <laughs> oh, you just saw the name, Lexi. Lexi, yeah, Lexis. Lexis, she's Lexi's on the live. Lexi's my grandbaby. Lexi is my, my grandbaby. God. Yeah, that's my, my grandbaby. <laughs> Jesus. That's my grandbaby. I received that. I received that. Oh, shut up, my sick and emotion. I received that. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. my God. I received that from you, prophet of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus. Even with your grandchild. Jesus. Yeah, my that's, God. that's my grandchild. That's my grandchild. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Trust me. Trust me. God has her covered. God has her covered. She is. She's a mighty prophet and she's going to be more mightier than I, says the Lord to me. He said she's going to be greater than me. Glory be to God. So I'm, I'm, I'm protecting her. Glory be to God. I'm watching over her daily. Ali, yes, Sonora. Yes, Sonora. You get ready to ascend. Ascension to assignment. Glory be to Jesus, mighty God. Hallelujah. Shawan, is that Shawan? Shawan Curry? Shawan Curry? The Lord says you need a breakthrough. He said, matter of fact, it's a financial breakthrough. You need an urgent financial breakthrough. I think it's Shawan I saw, just saw Shawan or, or anyway, Shawan Curry. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. You need a financial breakthrough. There it is again. Yeah, Shawan, Shawan Curry. 
Shawan Curry, the Lord says, expect a financial breakthrough. Glory be back to Shandele Makasoto Ribaha. Matter of fact, expect it within seven days, says the Spirit of the Living God. Glory be to God. It's a financial breakthrough that you need. Shawan Curry, glory be to God. You don't need much. You're, you're not one that need much. You're not one that acts for much. Glory be to God. But God says this financial breakthrough is urgent. Glory be to God. Yes. Expect it within the next seven days, says the Spirit of the Living God. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Somebody yes, yes, Shawan, Shawan. That name sounds a little strange to me, but anyway, Shawan expected. Shawan expected. Palm light born. Glory be to God. Palm light born. The Lord says, I'm going to touch your family. I'm going to touch your body. And I'm going to touch your finances. That's three things. That's three things. Glory be to God. I'm going to touch your family. I'm going to touch your finances. And I'm going to touch your body. He says, the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Beverly Jesus. Cox. Beverly Cox. The Lord said there's much work for you to do. The Lord says I have much work for you to do. Matter of fact, Beverly, you're going to live into your old age. Glory be to God. Beverly Cox, I see you. I see you in the spirit. I see you as an old woman. I don't know your age now. Glory be to God, but you're going to live well into your old age, Beverly Cox. The Lord said there's much work for you to do. Glory be to God. And the Lord says, because you have a heart for him, your heart is so right. Your heart is so right towards God. God says, I'm going to use you. Glory be to God. And I see you, glory be to God, teaching others. There's a teaching anointing, Beverly, that's getting ready to come upon your life. And I see you teaching others. Glory be to God. God says, I'm going to use you. He said, I still have work for you to do. Beverly Cox. Yes, I see the name again. He says, I still have work for you to do, says the Spirit of the living God. And yes, I will cause you to live long, says the Lord. Somebody better give God a praise. Somebody better give God a praise. Somebody Dr. Denise, Dr. Denise Johnson, Dr. Denise Johnson, I hear the Lord say, forget ye the former things, glory be to God, forget the former things, glory be to God, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, read those chapters, Isaiah 43, those verses, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, the Lord says, forget the former things, glory be to God, because if you do not forget the former things, it's going to pull you down, I'm talking about Dr. Denise Johnson, the Lord says there is great power, hallelujah, that's getting ready to come forth from your life. Glory be to God. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to, to move you to another phase of ministry. Says the spirit of the living of my course, I'm talking to Dr. Denise Johnson. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to move you to another phase of ministry. Glory be to God. Prepare to travel. Jesus. And I'm not talking just in the United States. The Lord says, prepare to travel because I see you traveling to different countries of the world. I'm talking to Dr. Denise Johnson. Johnson, glory be to God. But I hear the Lord say, forget the former things. Mind not the things of the past. I hear the Lord say, behold, I do a new thing in you. Dr. Denise Johnson, glory be to God. And those who have despised you and those who have rejected you and those who have come against you and those who have talked about you, even in circles that you move in. And those, my God, who have looked down on you. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I'm about to call them to look up to you, says the Spirit of the living God, for what I'm getting ready to do in your life and where I'm getting ready to take you, says the Spirit of the living God. I hear the Lord say there is a deeper realm of revelation that I'm getting ready to give to you, Dr. Denise Johnson. There's a deeper level of mm. revelation that I'm getting ready to give you. I hear the Lord no, say, begin to lock away with me. Hallelujah. Begin to pull yourself away. Glory be to God and spend time with me for I'm about to unleash upon you Jesus. mysteries. Glory be to Jesus. God. Mysteries. Secrets from heaven. Glory Jesus. be to God. Hallelujah. And out of it shall come a book. Dr. Denise Johnson. Glory be to God. But you mm. must forget the past. Hallelujah. And move forward into your future. Mm. Glory be to God. For behold, says the spirit of the living God, I do a new oh. thing in you. Jesus.
Jesus. Robo bobo shande de bosia. Yira la basaya. Theresa Dean, the Lord says to tell you he's calling you higher. The Lord says, get rid of the weight and everything that so easily beset you. Get rid of it. <laughs> Glory be to God. Shake it off. Glory be to God. Shake it off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For things easily hold you down. The Lord said, shake mm. it off. Glory be to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. For I'm getting ready to do a new thing in you. Mm. Says the Spirit of the Living God. Somebody give God a praise right now. Somebody give God a praise right now. Glory be to Messiah. Glory be to God. Christy Cadet. Christy Cadet. Well, I'll say exactly what I hear. Your name is saying Christy Cadet. But I hear the Lord saying, I hear the Lord calling you prophetess of the Most High God. Christy Cadet, glory be to God. God is getting ready to release a prophetic anointing with power upon your life. The Lord is getting ready to release a prophetic anointing with power like you have never experienced before. Glory be to God. God says, hallelujah, that you have gone through, my God, some tough times. Glory be to God, even within the church. Glory be to God, but the Lord says, hallelujah, Jesus, Christy Cadet, and he says, prophet of the Lord. He says, I'm getting ready, glory be to God, hallelujah, to release an anointing upon you that will be an anointing of great power. Glory be my oh, Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord say to you, Christy, not only will it come with great power, but I hear God say it will come with wealth. It will come with wealth. Oh, glory be to God. Expect, glory be to God, the blessings of the Lord in the form of money. Glory be to God. Christy Cadet, because you have such a heart for people. Glory be to God. You have such a heart to give. Glory be to Jesus. My God, the Father says to tell you that he is pleased with your giving. Glory yes. be to God. And because of that, he's about to give it back to you. Press down, shaken together, and running over Christy Cadet. This is a new thing that God is doing in your life. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Expect it. Hallelujah to the mighty God. For God says, and Christy, you're not, you're not, you're foreign. In other words, you're not Bahamian. You're not Bahamian. I'm not sensing Bahamian. Can Christy tell me where she's from? Hello, Christy. Christy Cadet. Christy, are you Bahamian? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I'll get to see it a little later on. Hallelujah. But I'm, 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 sensing a, I'm sensing a foreign anointing. Glory be to God. Matter of fact, Christy, I see you traveling quite a bit through the United States of America. Glory be to God. God's going to use you in the United States of America. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to use you prophetically. It's going to be a prophetic anointing of power, says the spirit of the libo kosha tenedebosaya. Toya young, Toya young, the Lord says to tell you, I have not forgotten you. Glory be to Jesus. I have not forgotten you. Glory be to God. Sometimes you may feel as if, glory be to God, you are forgotten or overlooked. Glory be to God. But the Lord says to tell you, I Toya young, I have not forgotten you. Glory be to God. And I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to use you to impact you your generation. Glory be to God. Yes, you have gone through much. Yes, you have suffered much, says the Lord, but it is out of your suffering that you will minister. Glory be to God. Your suffering will produce great ministry, says the Spirit of the living God to Toya Young. Glory be to God. You get ready to be used to affect your generation, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a great God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Pastor Anoja, I know you. Hallelujah. But I'm hearing this word for the first time concerning you. Hallelujah. Even if I know somebody, I would say I know them. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Anoja. Glory be to Jesus. The Lord says the warfare that you have gone through. Glory be to God. Over the past six months, my God Almighty. 
through over the past six months. Mm -hmm. If you were not strong in your mind, you would have already lost your mind. I'm talking to Anoja Gadad. Glory be to God. If you were not strong in your mind, you would have already lost your mind, says the Spirit of the living God, because the warfare has been great. It has been intense. There's not been much people you could have talked to. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because I hear you saying to yourself, who can I confide in? Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. But I hear the Lord say in this season, I'm getting ready to put an anointing of an overcomer upon your life. Pastor Anoja Gadad. Oh, glory be to God. I'm getting ready. Hallelujah. To destroy every work of the enemy that was sent against you. I saw where witchcraft was sent against you. Glory be to God to destroy you, to destroy your family, to destroy your ministry. But I hear God say every witch this day has been judged. Every witch that has come against you has been judged. And they have been judged with the penalty of death, says the Lord. There's about to be a shift, man of God, for you. There's about to be a shift in your life. And you're not going to understand it at first. Glory be to God, but God is shifting you into the new thing. And there's so much mm. I need to say to you. Of course, I'm using wisdom, so I'll talk to you in private. But there's yeah. a shift that's going to take place in your life. And it's a new thing that God is going to shift you into. Glory be to Jesus. God said he has prepared you. Glory be to God. He has refined you. Glory be to God. And now he's about to shift you. There is never yes. a shift without refinement. Mm -hmm. There is never a shift without preparation. There is never a shift without process. There is never a shift without pain. Glory be to God. Yes. I got to say it again. There is never a shift without pain. There's never mm. a shift without process. There's never yes. a shift without refinement. Never a shift without preparation. Glory be to God. Because a shift just simply means that God is moving you again, ascension to assignment. That's all it means. God is moving you from one level to the next, and in some cases, from one level to the next dimension. Glory be to God. You, man of God, there are levels that God moves people to. There are incremental blessings that come upon us as the body of Christ. God moves us just like a staircase from one stair to the next which is from level to level. But there are some people, glory be to God, that God will move from level directly or levels directly to dimensions. In other words, they will be like students that were so smart that they skipped grades. Glory be to God. God says, I'm getting ready to cause you to skip levels. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus. I'm getting ready Thank to you, cause Jesus. you to skip levels. Glory be to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. What it took persons five and ten years to accomplish, yes. you're going to accomplish in less, says the yes. Spirit of the living God. I'm yes. going to cause you yes. to shift my God Almighty. You're going to move yes. from levels and go straight into dimensions. Dimensions you, is where the increase comes. Levels, Thank glory you, be to God. I'm uh, getting ready to write a book on levels, dimensions, and rams. Yeah. Glory be to God. And every child of God will experience each and every one of them. Glory be to God. If they stay connected to Christ yes. and if they walk in their assignment, glory yes. be to God. Hallelujah. And so levels, hallelujah, determine promotion. Glory be yes. to God. You are promoted. Incrementally move from one hey, level Jesus. to the next. But the minute Jesus. you get to dimensions, dimension speaks about increase. Dimension speaks about influence. So whereas levels have to do with you, dimensions or levels is God dealing with you. The minute you get into dimensions, it's you dealing with others. Glory be to God. So in dimensions is where God gives you influence. Glory to oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. God says, I'm going to move you from, from levels directly into dimensions.
nations. Says the spirit of the Lord about Koshata and about Sika and Glory be to the Holy Ghost. You get ready to walk into dimensions where you influence groups of people. Says the spirit of the living God. Oh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. The Lord of Ashandere Bosaya. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And even though you are young, the Lord says, Look not at your age. Hallelujah. A prime example. Glory be to God for one that moves from levels to dimensions. Glory be to God. It's the story of David and Joseph. Glory be to God. As they were operating on levels. Yes, God was dealing with them and speaking to them and revealing to them. Yes, Moses, Joseph had the dreams. But all those dreams pertain to his level. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But when the dreams began to manifest, it was when he moved from the level to the dimension to the realm. So the manifestation of Joseph's dreams, glory be to God, came when he entered the realm. Hallelujah of governance. My God Almighty. God says, I'm getting ready to take you from dimensions into realms of governance. Say, oh, Jesus. Jesus, what is this? Jesus. Says the Jesus. of the living. Jesus. Messiah, begin to prepare yourself, Jesus. says the Lord, because I will move you quickly. Glory be to God. It will Jesus. be a quick shifting. Glory be to God, but it will be ascension to your assignment. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, my God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Melissa, roll. Melissa, roll. Melissa, roll. I hear the Lord say, get ready for the increase. Get ready for expansion. Get ready for overflow. Melissa, roll. I don't think I know that person. I know a Melissa, but she's not a role. The Lord says, get ready for increase. Get ready for overflow. Get ready for expansion. My God Almighty. Glory be to God. Get ready, Melissa Roll. Hallelujah, Jesus, because I see people giving into your life, Melissa Roll, who don't even know you. Glory be to God. God says, I'm going to start touching the hearts of people. Glory be to God. I'm going to touch the hearts of people to touch your hands. I'm going to begin to touch the hearts of people, Melissa Roll, to touch your hands. Glory be to God because, hallelujah, your hands are blessed, says the Spirit of the living God to Melissa Rowe. Your hands are blessed, says God. Glory be to Jesus. I'm going to be, my God Almighty, I'm going to be, a, be a begin, says the Lord, to pour down upon your life, Melissa Rowe. I hear the Lord say to you, Melissa Rowe, stay in position. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord saying to all of us, as a matter of Fact, stay in position. Glory be to God because it is when we are in position that we receive the blessings of the Lord. That's a whole other message. But I hear the Lord saying it. Stay in position. Glory be to God. It is in the position hallelujah when you are connected and grounded in Christ that the blessings come. Glory be to Jesus. Oh what is this mighty God. I want to release Robo Shatarabaha I want to release a word over the Bahamas. Glory be to yeah. God. Hallelujah. And the Lord has called me not just, hallelujah, to speak into the lives of people, but he's called me to speak into the lives of leaders. There are leaders that, that, that call me and I speak into their lives. Political leaders, civic leaders, social leaders, spiritual leaders. Glory be to God. That is the anointing that's upon my life. It's a, gov it's a governmental anointing. And a governmental anointing just simply means an anointing where you're able to minister to leadership, different levels of leadership. It's a governmental anointing. Glory be to God. And there are persons that call, hallelujah, that the Lord allow me to speak into their lives. Glory be to Jesus. And so I want to release a word, hallelujah, over our nation. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as a governmental prophet. I want to release a word over the Bahamas. Glory be to yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Makete, Sharaban, Doboko, Saya. Ayeboko, Riangala, Masaya. Glory be to God. I hear the Lord say within 50 days, and the word 50 literally symbolizes freedom and jubilee. Glory be to God. Freedom and jubilee, says the Lord. Within 50 days, says the Lord, within 50, five, zero days, 
I will completely remove the coronavirus out of the Bahamas. Somebody better give God a praise right there. Somebody better give God a praise. Somebody better tweet that. Somebody better tweet that. Somebody better share that. Somebody better post that. Put it on Facebook. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God to encourage the people. Glory be to Jesus. Ramande. I hear the Lobo Shandebo. Ramande. Soto, Rikandelebo Sondarabakate, Rukandalama Setelebo Saya. I hear the Lord say within fifty days, Glory be Abashando Ribande, Rubande. I will completely remove and eradicate the coronavirus out of the Bahamas. Rekandalama Koshate, Ebando, Rukandelebo Sandanabahaya, Roshandelebo Sikandanabahaya. And I'm getting ready to raise up, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to raise up an anointing of prosperity over my people in the Bahamas, says the Lord. Oh, glory be to God. He cut off my I feel it. Holy Ghost. I am at the top. Roshande Bokosaya. Glory be to God. There is an anointing of prosperity that's getting ready to hit the body of Christ in the Bahamas. Oh. And when I say that I'm talking about the remnant of God that are in this country, for God says, I hear your prayers. God says, I hear your supplications. God says, I hear my God, your groanings unto me. God says, I have seen your sacrifices. God says, I've seen your fastings. God says, I've seen your willingness. Oh, glory be to God to draw nigh. Unto me, says the Lord. And so therefore now, I will reward you. I will come down and visit you. I will come down and see about you, says the yes. Spirit of the living God. Mm. So expect it. While there's famine, glory be to God. In the lives of those who do not know God. While there's famine in other countries of the world. Glory be to God. There shall be levels and measures of prosperity upon the people of God. And I hear him saying specifically, so I have to say the way he said it, upon the people of God in the Bahamas. God says, prepare to prosper. Oh, somebody give God a praise right there. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a praise right there. Oh, my God, Jesus. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Father mm. God. Hallelujah. Within 50 days, go ahead and tweet it. Go ahead and put it on Facebook. Go ahead and send it out to your friends. Go ahead and send it out to your family. Go ahead and send it out to all of your contacts. Glory be to God. Release it all around the world. Yes, Glory be to God because God will bring the Bahamas front and center. Glory be to yes, God. There will be a manifestation of this world within five zero. 50 days. 50 stands for freedom. It stands for jubilee. It stands for deliverance. My God Almighty, Jesus and the Holy Ghost. I said within 50 days. Glory be to the mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And to those of you, hallelujah, that are sowers, that are givers, Glory under the Messiah. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. the Bahamas will make the news. We will make the news. Glory be to God. We will make the news. Glory be to Jesus. If I be not a prophet of the Lord, you will know. Glory be to God within five zero fifty 50 days. Glory be to the mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To those who are sowers and are givers. And I've been consistent in paying your tithes, giving your tithes, your offering, your seed, even in hard times. I hear the Lord say, I'm getting ready to reward you. Mm. I'm getting ready to reward you. 
says the Spirit of the living God. I am getting ready to reward you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Do not look at the times that we are in. Look at the word of God. And if God says it, you can stand upon it. It is so. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Glory be to God. Prophet of the Lord, I just realized I've been on here for a long time. Hallelujah. So I let just, the Lord use you. I, I just looked let at the, the time. Use you. Let the Lord use you. <laughs> oh, glory be to the mighty let God. The glory be to the mighty God. There is about to be a shaking in the United States of America. And I'm not just talking about this riot because a prophet doesn't speak about something that's happening. Whatever happens had to have been after the prophet has spoken about it. But there is a new shaking that's coming to the United States of America. Glory be to God. There is a new shaking that is coming. The Lord says, I will cause them, says the Spirit of the living God, to recognize and know that I am God, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I don't mean a coronavirus. There is something else that's coming to the United States of America. And it will bring about a shaking. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, they will know that I am God in the midst of it, says the Lord. Hallelujah. For I will bring America back to me. Hallelujah. For I have established America, says the Spirit of the living God. And I will bring America back to me, says yes. God. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say to Africa, the entire continent of Africa, I hear the Lord say, prepare, for this is your time to rise. This is your time to rise. Glory be to God. Prepare. My God Almighty, the continent of Africa is about to rise, says the Lord. Glory be to God. No longer will they be rejected and barren. Glory be to God. But they will arise as world leaders. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to move across the continent of Africa. Glory be to God. And I hear Father say, in the midst of me moving across the continent of Africa, I will remove leaders. And I will replace them with new leaders. Yes. Glory be to God that will have my heart, says the Spirit of the yes. living God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. And the Bahamas, most certainly, hallelujah, will have ties with Africa. Glory be to God. The word of the Lord is so, hallelujah, expect to see it. Glory be to God. Ramande koshira dalarabasando riamande kesaya. Glory be to God. And Father says, and I leave on this one, as far as the prophetic part of the, of the ministry tonight, the Father says, even tonight, that every individual, glory be to God, hallelujah, that souls mm. into this word, I hear the Lord. I'm moving out of my chair a little bit. Glory be to God. A little tired of sitting down. Hallelujah. But I hear the Lord say that every individual yeah. that sows into this word and into yes. this ministry tonight, the Lord says, I will give you an incremental, an incremental blessing, and it will be double. This is the season where God is going to double the gifts of the giver. And so whatever you give, it shall return to you double. Glory be to God. I'm going to say it again. This is the season of the double anointing. Glory be to Jesus. The year 2020, 20 times two. Glory be to God. And I hear the Lord say, don't throw 2020 away yet. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because at the end of it, we will see the reason why we went through what we went through at the beginning. Glory be to God. So don't forsake 2020. Don't throw 2020 in the garbage, as it were. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I hear the Lord say in this year of double, double. Hallelujah, Jesus. Those that sow into this word tonight. Hallelujah. 
I hear the Lord say, expect to reap double what you have sown. Glory be to God. And so I got to say it just the way I hear it. Because 50 represents victory, deliverance, breakthrough, breakout, jubilee, all of that is a part of the number 50. Glory be to God. Yes. I want to encourage tonight every individual that will sow a $50 seed. I want to, listen, giving is never, glory be to God, giving is never to be forced because the word says God loves a cheerful giver. And so therefore, I'm not going to say to you, you have to do it. Glory be to God. But I will say to you that, <clears throat> sorry, that the Lord says, if you were to sow the seed, the Lord says, expect double. Expect mm -hmm. double, man Maybe of go. God. Man of God, Maybe I will go. say specifically to you, be a part of this. Yes. I would say specifically yes. to you, prophet, be yes. a part of this. Glory be to God. Yes. This is the year when God will surprise many. Yes. Glory be to God concerning you. Yes. Glory be to God. My this God. is, I'm saying it again because I hear it again. This is the year when God will surprise many concerning you, yes. prophet yes. of the Lord. Because yes. there's things within you, glory be to God, that people have not seen and God is getting ready to bring yes. out. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord says, even the vision, it's not for, it was not for the time, but this is the appointed time. The vision that God has right. given you, glory be to God. Yes. Hey, Holy Ghost. Jesus. The vision that God has given you, I hear the Lord says, now shall it spring forth and it shall yes. have great power, says the Spirit yes. of the living God. Glory be to Jesus. So every individual that's watching me tonight or will watch this program, and you say, prophetess, I want to be a blessing. Glory yes. be to God. And I want to be obedient to the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. I want to, listen, I know there are going to be some people who are saying, well, how can I give in this time of stress? in this time of hard time, in this time of COVID-19, in this time of lack. The Bible says that when Isaac sowed, and I, it took me a long time to understand the scripture, even to get a hold of it, to wrap my mind around it. It took me a while. Yes. But the Bible says, Isaac sowed in the time of famine. And in the time of famine, he reaped 100 fold. Glory be to Jesus. So if I can say it this way, even though it was famine, famine for Isaac was still good ground. Yes. I said, God, I feel the anointing. I said, yes. even though yes. it was Rufo famine, yeah, my yes. God Almighty, somebody's Jesus. watching Rufo me need to hear Jesus. this word tonight. Jesus. Even though it was famine, famine for Isaac was still good ground. Glory be to Jesus. Because it's only in good ground that you can reap a hundredfold. And so for those, glory be to God, who would say, prophetess, I want to be a blessing to your ministry. And I want to sow mm -hmm. into your ministry. But yes. more than anything else, I want to sow into this word tonight. Glory be to God. I want to sow in this word, this year of double-double. I want to sow in this season of jubilee. Yes. And I want to sow that $50 seed to each individual yes. who would do that, that's watching. Glory be to God. This is no pressure. Glory be God, to God. You decide whether you should do it. You decide yes. whether you should be a blessing yes. to the prophet of the Lord. You decide whether this word, glory be to God, is worth you sowing into. Glory yes. be to Jesus. But I say to you, if you sow, my God Almighty, you will reap double. You will reap a hundredfold. Glory yes. be to God. Oh, Christy yes. said, Christy said, thank you, confirmation prophetess. That's exactly what I heard in my yes. spirit. Yes. yes. And so this is the number to call. Glory be to Jesus. I always tell people yes. to call. Hallelujah. Simply because I want to speak with them directly. And so this is the yes. number to call. Glory be to Jesus. And if you're calling from anywhere outside of the Bahamas, it's area code 242-823-6498. That's our ministry's number. That's our only number to call. That's the ministry's only number that we give out. Area code yes. 242. Man of God, if you can put it on the screen. Area code yes, 242-823-6498. Um, 
823-623-6498. If you're in the Bahamas, then just call 823-6498. I'll say that again. Outside of the Bahamas, area code 242-823-6498. Nine, eight. If you're in the Bahamas, 823-6498. Glory be to God. Call that number. Hallelujah. And I will speak with you directly. I don't usually do it, but I feel that I need to do this time because I want to release a blessing over you. And so call that number, 823-6498 in the Bahamas, outside of the Bahamas, 242 Eight two three six four nine eight. Glory be to Jesus. As you sow into that word, hallelujah. As you sow in the time of famine, as you sow during this time of a worldwide pandemic, glory be to God. God is going to bless you doubly for it. Not only will he bless you doubly for it, but he'll bless your entire household. Glory be to God. And so most certainly, Prophet, thank you so very much having me yes. on tonight <laughs> yes. it was such a privilege and a pleasure yes. to be here with you tonight man of god and uh, most yeah. certainly i'm looking forward to another time when we get together yeah and uh i know that god is going to bless you i know that he's going to bring an overflow in your life most certainly i know that he's going to honor yeah. the word that's been spoken over yeah. you glory be to god yeah. and so be encouraged in the lord Expect yes. great things from God. Hallelujah. Yes. Expect promotions on all front. Glory be to God. Expect God to bless you spiritually and in the secular realm. Glory be to God. It's coming to you, man of God, so expect it. Yes. Glory be to Jesus. And of course, give your wonderful pastor. I, I call her my honorary. She's my honorary spiritual mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> such, a, such a humble but powerful woman of God. Prophetess yeah. Minus. Well, she's what, apostle now? Yeah. Apostle. Apostle. Apostle she's Frederica. Apostle Frederica Minus. Frederica Minus. Apostle Frederica Minus. Yes. Listen, man of God. Yes. I was going through something. Believe it or not. I was going through something. And she's the person the Lord gave me to go yes. to, to sit and talk with. And listen, that woman laid hands on me in that office. And I literally yeah. felt like I was lifting off my feet. That's how strong the anointing was. I mean, there yeah. was just fire in that Holy Ghost office. By the time as I left, I yeah. was like, Lord, I should have brought somebody to drive me. Because that particular day, usually I love somebody to drive me. But that particular day, I just yeah. went by myself. Listen, I was so light in the anointing by the time as she was finished Jesus. praying for me. I'm telling my you. Lord. A powerful, powerful, powerful mother in Zion, a woman yes. of God, a humble yes. servant of God. And so yes. you guys take care of her at Five Porches, Apostle Frederica yes. Minus. You don't have too yes. many pastors that you can really say care for the sheep, has a humble spirit. Mm -mm. And what I love about yes. her, even at that age, she is still anointed. Even yes. at her age, she is still powerfully anointed. Glory be to God. So please give yes. her my love. Most certainly. I will. I was just talking yes. to my husband. I said, I need to go sit down with Prophet. Um, I didn't say apostle because I didn't know she was apostle. I said, I need to go sit down with Prophet yes. Minus again. I need to, I, we need to talk again. <laughs> and uh, yes. most certainly, I, I, most certainly, I trust the anointing that's on her life. Glory yes. be to God. And so I yes. thank God for you. I thank God for yes. your leadership. Thank God for the covering yes. that's over your life. And uh, yes. as you honor your covering, God will honor you. Yes. You can never receive yes. from anyone or anything that you don't yes. honor. That's the principle yes. of honor. That's the law of yes. honor. You will receive. Yes. And you will not only receive, you will receive double. Whatever yes. you honor, whatever you respect, whatever you sow into, you'll receive yes. double for it. And so I give God thanks to you, man of God. And again, yes. thank you so very much for having me on yes. tonight. And of course, I got to go now and prepare for my live tomorrow. These past two weeks, I've been so busy. I've just been from live to live to live to live. 
So please strength, pray, pray my strength. Like the old people say, pray my strength in the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Woman of God, um, 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 Master Prophetess, I just want to thank you Praise for coming God. on this live, for coming on this live tonight. I'm going to be sowing a seed of $100 into yes. that word that you gave. Tonight, that you gave tonight. Yes. As you as you ministered, as you were ministering the word, yes. all I saw was yes. Prophetess Deborah. Prophetess My God. Deborah. That's all I saw in the spiritual realm was Prophetess Deborah. Wow. And if you if you look into the word, remember now, Prophetess yes. Deborah now, she was she was she she prophesied herself as the mother of Israel. Yes. She was the mother <laughs> of Israel. Not only that, she had the authority yes. in the spiritual realm yes. to be able to actually bring judgment That's on right. Israel. That's right. And as you were ministering, woman of God, wow. all I heard the Holy Spirit saying to me that this is a mother in dimensions. I heard oh. the Holy Spirit saying wow. to me concerning you, woman of God, yes. that this is a woman of God. This is a prophetess in dimensions. My she can, God. You have the authority in the spiritual realm to be able to declare a thing, a thing concerning individuals. My Being God. able to shift atmospheres My concerning God. individuals. My God. Not only yourself, yes. but concerning individuals. Yes. Woman of God. Praise God. So I covered you right yes. now under the anointing, the name under the of power Jesus. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Your ministry in the name of Jesus, mighty yes. woman yes. of God. I yes. give respect to my senior pastor, Apostle yes. Federica, my yes. an anointed, powerful woman of God. Oh, yes. Every day before every life, I always call her before every life. I call my senior pastor. My God. And I say, hey, Apostle, I'm going on my life. Right. I need for you to cover me wow. with prayer. Wow. As I am one of your prophets. As That's one right. Of your prophets. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I, I know we have to end the live soon. I want I want you to I want you to do the closing prayer. Yes. I don't want anybody to go because okay. you know we always end this live with a praise. Yes. High praise. We end every because the Holy Little Spirit bullshit. said to me to end every live with a high praise song. My God. Release into the atmosphere. My so God. At the end of every live, we end every live in high praise. Yes. When I came into five porches, yes. you said something. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. When yes. I came into five porches, I served as an assistant pastor My God. of another apostolic ministry. Okay. And I served as a youth pastor yes. prior to that. Yes. The Holy Spirit released me into five porches. My God. The people on this live, there are many, many, many five porches people My who God. are on this live right now, yes. including Prophet Tanya. I yes. sat in the audience yes. of five porches and ordained prophet my god an ordained prophet i sat in the audience of five porches and the holy spirit said to me prophet it's time for you to release i went to apostle minus my god I went to my apostle yes and i said apostle i said can i have your permission yes to go and launch back out again because the lord has given me the release yes i went to her i didn't say to her that i was going out to back in ministry right. again, I asked my apostle, I say, do I have your permission that's it. to go back out? That's how it should be done. You, think, you see, that's how you do things in order. Right. And Apostle Minor said to me, Yes, prophet, I release you. My but she God. said, you ain't going nowhere. Ah. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's saying right here. But yes. I release you yes. to do the work of the Lord yes. with, with your prophetic ministry. Right. But you will be a prophet in five porches. That's it. You understand? You ain't going nowhere. But you can remember your ministry, but you ain't going nowhere. Right. You understand? Yeah. So I honor you, woman of God. And I'm going to say this one last thing. Because I want you to end. I, I want you to end this live. Yes. There's a yes. There's a farmer on this live. There's yes. a farmer on this live. My and the Holy Shepherd. Spirit said to you, man of God, there's a man of God. He's a farmer. My this Shepherd. man is a farmer My God. on this live. My God. And the Holy Spirit said to me concerning you, farmer, yes. because of your desire in the things of God, yes. because you have taken the time out 
during this COVID-19, during this season, to search after the things of God. Yes. The Holy Spirit said to me, the thing that you've desired concerning the property, hallelujah, yes. has been released. Yes. To you, says the Lord God, Jehovah. Praise I first Jesus. looking for finances concerning that. The yes. Holy Spirit says to me, concerning even your children, you will even be blessed man of God, even concerning your children yes. and your grandchildren and yes. your great-grandchildren, says the Lord God Jehovah. Yes. They have called you blessed, says My the God. Lord God Jehovah. And they said, even when you are no longer, Eric said, hallelujah, My even God. when you are even no longer on this earth, My says God. the Lord God Jehovah, that you will live on, says Jesus. the Lord God Jehovah. And they will remember you, the farmer. There's a farmer on this live right now. My they God. will remember you. Yes. They will remember oh, you, well, says the Lord God Jehovah. I am not prophesying to nobody else. It was only being obedient to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit said to me, I don't want to, I don't want to disrespect the master prophetess mm -hmm. in any kind of way. My it's just that particular individual yes. who I just want to release that word to, being obedient to the Praise Holy Spirit. Jesus. I'm going to release back over to the master prophet. My Hallelujah. God. Um, Jesus. To close us out. Yes. And they're going to go with a praise. Once again, I want to recognize everybody in five porches. Yes. All of you on this line. Yes. I saw Christine Taylor. I saw um, 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 all of you from five porches. Marilyn. Yes. Um, 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 Minus. All, uh, all of you all. Sean. All of you all. Prophetess Tanya. All of you. I love all you. Giselle yes. Poitier. I love all of you. <laughs> Stacey Williamson. Mighty woman of God. I cover you right now with the blood of Jesus. No plan of the enemy will prosper. Listen yes. to me. I saw dimensions. My God. Listen to me. You are an anointed woman of God. My God. Realms. My God. Because of your desire. In the My God. Of God. I release over to you now. Apart, I'm now Jesus. woman of God. Yes. I release over to you. And we can, and we can go with high praise. Yes. yes, yes, yes. But come on, let's just give God some praise. Father, we praise you. We thank you. We worship you. Glory be to God. We adore you. We magnify you. We glorify you. There is none like you. There is none. Hallelujah. Like El Shaddai. There is none like Adonai. Glory be to God. You are Jehovah Chira. Hallelujah. Jehovah Shalom. My God Almighty. You are the God of the warring angels. Hallelujah. There is nothing too hard for you. Glory be to God. You are our glory and the lifter up of Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. You are the lifter of our heads, O oh God. You are the lifter of our heads, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God. We give you all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the glory. We saturate oh, Jesus. The glory Hallelujah. be to God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. We thank you for every individual that's on this live. Glory be to God. Father, we ask that you touch them. We ask, Father, for those who are sick. Glory be to God that you would magnify your healing in their bodies right now. I release a healing anointing over their lives right now in the name of Jesus. And I decree that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, that they are healed. Glory be to God. I release a financial anointing over your people. I decree and declare that no one watching this live will live a life of lack in the mighty name of Jesus, but I decree and declare your cupboard shall be full up. Even though this time of famine, I decree and declare that every need will be met, every bill will be paid. Almighty God, even on this live, I decree and declare debt cancellation in the mighty name of Jesus. I see God canceling debts. Oh, glory be to God, I decree and declare it done right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that children who are lost are about to be saved, my God Almighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for sending lost husbands home. I thank you for sending lost children home. God, I thank you for reuniting families in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, I speak supernatural breakthroughs. I speak supernatural increases in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I say tonight, Lord God, that every life that's watching tonight will be changed for your honor and for your glory. Now, God Almighty, I break every curse.
curse that's been spoken over your people. I break down every satanic altar that's been built by God against your people. Oh, glory be to God. I set your people free by the power of the living Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak the blood covering over them now. I decree and declare that they are the head and not the tail in manifestation. I declare that no weapon that's formed against your people will ever be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every negative word. Oh, glory be to God. I break every hex, every spell, every curse now in the name of Jesus. I silence every witch. I silence every warlock with the blood of Jesus Christ. I smite them with the word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now, glory be to God, and I come in agreement with the word of God now. Hallelujah. Suffer not a witch to live. I decree and declare, glory be to God, that every witch, every warlock coming against your servants, I decree and declare, oh, glory be to God, the penalty of death over their lives now. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh, glory be to God, I release the fire of God upon your people, even now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, fire to heal, fire to cleanse, fire to deliver, fire to set free, yes. fire to provide, Jesus. fire to illuminate, fire to change. I release the fire of God upon your people Jesus. right now. Jesus. In the Hallelujah. mighty name of Jesus, Jesus. oh, glory be to God. And I decree and declare that from this moment forward, that your people will walk in jubilee. Yeah. They will yes. walk in freedom. Yeah. They will walk in deliverance. They yes. will walk in your spirit like yes. never yet before. Father, I thank you yes. for the new day. Yes. Thank you for the new yes. wine. Thank you, yes. Lord God, for the change. Yes. And even now, yes. Lord, we decree and declare. Yes. Because we believe by faith that you're doing a new yes. thing. Yea, even this year. So therefore, we release a shout by faith in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Somebody give God a shout even now. Hallelujah. Somebody leave with a shout. Somebody Hallelujah. give God a shout right now. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a shout of victory right Hallelujah. now. Somebody give shout of victory right now. Somebody release a shout of victory 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 now. Thank you, God, for the victory. Oh, glory be to the mighty God. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory. Even now, God, we give you the praise. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare that it is done. Glory be to God. Take it away, man of God. Glory be to Jesus. Well, we're going to close out now, woman of God. You yes. Know, I, I could just talk about you. I just love you. Uh, I'm going to say this one last thing about you. Yeah. When I when I asked you to come, when I asked this woman of God to come on the program. Yes. You know, she was such, you were so motherly to me. You were so motherly to me. How you spoke to me on My the God. phone as a, as, a, as a prophet son, you know, as a prophet, you say, Son, and then you say prophet, then you say son, then you say prophet, then you say son. <laughs> I just love you, woman of God. You made me feel so wonderful. Praise you made God. me feel so loved. Praise so I God. want you all, please, to sow into this ministry. Yes. Sow into her ministry. Yes. Please sow into her ministry. Yes. I just want to end with that. Please sow into her ministry. The number is on the bottom there. Eight yes. two three six four. Eight two three six four nine eight. Into the ministry. Eight two um, three six four nine eight. I want you all. Yeah, eight two three. Six four nine eight. So into it. the ministry. That's it. I want you all to add me on Facebook. To yes. Follow the ministry. Yes. To add me on Facebook. Add me on Facebook. Yes. Go right ahead. I want you all to like and share this message. Go share and this like tonight. and share this message. Share this tonight. Oh, like yes. and share. Like the message. I want you all to share this message. Share yes. this word. Like yes. this word. Yeah. Share it and like it. I want you all to. Get that cell phone number, save it in your phone. Right. Um, so that see you to receive yes. that double, double, prophetic double, double. blessing. That's right. Listen to me, do it. I want you all to add me on your Facebook pages. Hallelujah. Add me so that we can continue to pray together. Yes. And we can move together. So we're going to now end this with yes. the apostolic praise. All Hallelujah. right. 